we're gonna remove all this rust on this car, all this flaky stuff. And that's what the scraper comes in for if you really wanna just do it real quick. You could use a scraper and run it real fast and just pop the loose stuff off. Get this stuff out of here. We got Bondo in the back. You can see it all down here, Bondo. We got paint on the car. Now when we're cleaning this car, folks, Dr. X will not touch any of this product here. None of it. It will clean this product off and make this car spotless without affecting the paint or the Bondo or anything else on this car. Let's have a look over here. Oh, we got some heavy, heavy rust over here. Yeah, see all these little bumps on here? Get close up of that. Those are all water spots and they get on top of that and they build up and they turn into rust spots and they're like concrete. Super hard. Have a look around over here, you'll see the paint on the car, you'll see the Bondo. Heavy rust. Look at that rough. That's a, so it's got acne, man. This is the supplies you're going to need to clean this vehicle. It's not a whole lot of stuff. It's very simple, very easy. you got your weed blower, a couple little rags for your hands, about seven, eight cans of black primer paint, the gloves and our little scraper, and an inexpensive pressure washer. It doesn't matter. These are like $99 at Home Depot. We can borrow your buddies or anybody you want to do. You can use a gas powered or electric, it doesn't matter. Put some product in this thing, we're gonna pump it up a little bit, and we're gonna start from here. I'm gonna work our way around the car and spray the product on the car and let it soak. Nice little mist guys, just put it on like this, just soak it on the material. Get it wet. Anyway. It's not going to touch that paint. Not going to hurt it one single bit. It's just going to eat this rust. Look at that rust run off. Look at that. Get up close on that. Look how fast it's eating into that rust. This product is amazing. And just go up the rails here. Put a little right there. And then come back to the back. Spray some on the back. We're just going to work our way around. Just spray it on there and let it sit. Now, folks, there's no product in the market. None. That you can spray on the vehicle. There's nothing. All the stuff, the, the stuff, the products you buy, you have to soak them, let them sit for days and days and days. They turn black, it gets nasty. When this car is done, it'll be nice, pretty, clear, nice, clean metal, ready to be able to paint, prime, whatever you're going to do to this project. In case in this one, we're going to clean this metal off, and then we're going to put some neutralizer sealer on it. It's called our Nutri Seal from Dr. X. And then we're going to let that dry, and after it dries, then we're going to shoot some rattle cam primer on there, a little 99 cent cheapo stuff from Home Depot. Lumpy, really gnarly looking bumps on this roof. Those folks are those are hard, 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 rust pieces. As a matter of fact, let me show you some how hard they are. Let me do a little scraper. See that pop off? Look how deep that rust is. See how fast. What's that sound? I couldn't hear you. You were too busy scraping, making a lot of noise. It looks like it's a, a lot, lot of work, effort. and it sucks. It's a lot of effort, a lot of work, and I don't really enjoy it. But instead of doing this, you're gonna spray Dr. X on, and you're gonna pressure wash it off. And once it's done, it'll be spotless and brand new without any manual labor. That's the whole idea behind the Dr. X. Simple and easy to use. So now that you believe me, folks, I am pushing very hard pushing very hard on this to get this rust to pop off. And even if you get it to pop off, it's all nothing but rust underneath. So you have to get that rust off too. Normally to do this guys, you, you got a grinder and sandpaper and you're talking a mass amount of, of sandpaper, rolls of sandpaper in days and days and days of grinding. And if you look down here in the rain gutters, pull a close up in there Johnson. See those rain gutters down there? You can never get that out with sandpaper, never. Even the wire wheel, you spend hours and hours grinding with a wire wheel, and there's also a chance of getting hit in the face with wire and stuff like that. And it hurts because I've done it, so I know. But the, yeah, this is what it looks like. Now, if you go to sandblasting, same thing as sandblasting. They'll blast this car. They won't get all the way in here very good because the sand won't take it all out. And when they're done with it, besides the bill of a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars to do this car, you got sand everywhere. The entire car is covered with sand. So when you go down the point where you're shooting your primer on, you're getting ready to paint or whatever you're gonna do, guess what? You hit a pocket of sand, poof, boop, sticks right to your brand new nice clean metal you just put primer on or paint, and you're screwed. So with Dr. X, you don't have any of those problems. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna soak this roof. Now mind you people, this is in the sun, so it's gonna evaporate quickly. So we just wanna kinda soak it up on top. 
Just spray it in there and let it just sit around top. Spray some on there, real light, and you just spray it on. It'll absorb it. You can spray it on, it's gonna dry up real quick. Just spray it on a couple times, just soak it. You want that metal soaked. So we'll just go on down inside that material. Start eating it up, and it will actually eat and dissolve the rust up. Okay, let's work our way around. Back to this a little bit. Spray the Bondo. Spray some right here. There's our paint. Some spots right there. Anywhere you see the little metal, look at that, I just touched that, look at that. How fast that is. See that? Look at that. Is that fast or what? Look at that, that's cool. Put some right there, let's rub it. You're gonna see it dissolving already. Now with the sun being directly on this, it's gonna dry this side pretty quick. So you're gonna probably wanna soak this a couple different times. Now mind you, inside the car, the seats, the upholstery, the the dash, none of that stuff will be affected by this product. Now if the metal's too hot guys, you'll know when the metal's too hot because it'll start it'll start kind of smoking or steaming a little bit. I can see just a little bit. Because the sun's on this metal and it's beating on it right now. So it's gonna get it really hot. So the, the product's gonna evaporate quickly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna squirt it down real quick and then we're gonna shoot some water on it to cool the metal down. We're also gonna use a pressure washer to blast it, so that's fine too. But if you come out of your car and the metal's super duper hot, you can, wet the, you can wet the metal down, not a problem. And the product will go right over and it'll work right through the water and take care of it on this car. All right, guys, you put the first coat on the car, okay? That's just basically the wet coat you put on there, especially with heavy rust like this. You're gonna come back and you put some more product in the uh, pressure pod. And you're gonna just pump it up a little bit. And then you're gonna take this like this. Now, we're probably gonna use on this whole car roughly two to three gallons is about on this car because it has super heavy rust like normally if it wasn't all this pity hardcore bumpy ass rust on here we would probably just spray with between one to one and a half gallons to take care of the whole car but means how you gotta let it sit for a while and penetrate and it's gonna evaporate in the hot sun figure roughly three gallons but it's still it was 120 bucks you do it yourself rust problem solved so let's just spray some on here just run down the car and if you notice i've been spraying on here and the paint's still good there's nothing wrong with the paint dr x is not going to affect paint Pump it a little more. Look at that run off, right? Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that stuff just pour off there. Okay. Eating her up. So after we do this next coat, or second coat here, we're going to let it sit for a little bit longer, another 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to grab the pressure washer and we're going to blast it. What that's going to do is peel off most of the layers of the rust. There's still going to be some hardcore pitting rust, stuff like that in there. But the majority of it will come off. Okay, then you're just going to repeat the process and do this over until all the rest is gone. And that's pretty much that easy, that fast. No scrubbing, no grinding, nothing. Just a simple, easy spray on. Wash it off. You know, they see it already eating all the way through. Look at that. So wonderful about this Dr. X product is you just spray it on. Crazy fast. There's no product in the world will do what this product does. None. It's environmentally friendly. You can put it on your hands, your skin. I don't recommend it all the time, but if you do get your hands in, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt you. So spray it on. And then guys, also when you're doing this, try not to do it on a windy day. Because in a windy day, especially a windy hot day, it'll just roll your product everywhere and you'll lose it real fast. But being said, we're going to call to this job. We're going to do it anyway. Normally when the wind's blowing around, you can feel the wind blowing around. It's about 10 mile an hour wind. Try to do it when there's no wind blowing. And soak it again. See how fast this side dries because of the sun? It dries very quickly. So you want to make sure you keep it on and keep it wet keep it soaked. This is our first gallon, guys, that, we, that we're doing right now. So we haven't even gone through a whole gallon yet. And we're soaking it pretty heavy. The bottom of the car, get the sides, get the top. Come back over here, we'll hit this top in a minute. You can already see it eating through already, most of the metal. Just removing that rust, chewing it right up. Isn't this stuff the greatest stuff ever invented? 
especially if you're into old classic cars and restorations. And what's cool about this stuff too is guys, you can, you can take this and soak your parts in this product. So I can literally take this product, pour it in a bucket or bowl, put my nuts and bolts, or whatever I want to soak in there, clean it, put it back in my bottle, and respray it again. It's reusable. You can spray it or dip it. No other product in the world can do that. So if you have nuts and bolts and parts and calipers and rotors and A-arms, swing arms, leaf springs, it doesn't matter. Right here. Now look inside. See the dash? Look in there. Yeah, it's sprayed all over the dash. Not gonna hurt anything. That's paint, plastic, glass, nothing. Upholstery won't touch it. Strictly just eats rest. That's what's so awesome about it. See you guys, see how fast it dries here in the sun? It's evaporating very quickly. So we're just gonna put a little more on the side. There we go. Now guys, we'll let this sit for about another, about another 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna get the pressure washer out and we're gonna blast this whole car end to end. And then we're gonna see where we're at and where the heavy spots are. And you just go back over and spray on the heavy spots. Don't worry about the light spots right away because once the light stuff is almost done, don't worry about it. Get the heavy spots first, soak those, get them off, and then come back and do the light spots and you'll be done with this project. We got our pressure washer. A little $99 electric pressure washer, okay? We're gonna start blasting this car, so here we go. <laughs> As you can see right away, go and have a look at that. It's pulling that rust right off. Let's finish blasting this here. We'll go this way. You're watching that with your very own eyes, guys. There's no trick photography here, nothing special. It's just sprayed on, washed off. That's how fast. You can see the really hard pitted places that are really corroded with rust, which are right in here. Okay, if you get a close up, it's really rough. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the whole car off and all this stuff is the start stuff I was talking about where you spray it on there and just let it sit on that spot. And then just work this spot, work this spot, work this spot, work the spots that are heavy, and then we'll come back and finish those up when you're done. Light coat the car, whatever little piece of rust on it, it's done. Your project's finished. <laughs> Now, if I had a really like a big pressure washer, like a real 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 psi gas one, it would rip this stuff right off. But this is a little electric one, about 1,400 psi. We're just going to show you though how easy it is to do it on a low budget. you're doing this try to do it on some dirty ground somewhere obviously the property's got our uh, stains and stuff all over so we're not gonna worry about it but if you're doing you have a nice driveway don't do it in your driveway or wet it down put plastic down or something just to protect and keep the rust from penetrating into your driveway because it will jack up your concrete the rust will what's also about this stuff is when you spray it on Especially in the cracks in here, all these cracks and crevices, it'll pull all the rust out because the sandblasting can't get that rust out of these cracks. There's no possible way. So that's just waiting there for you to paint your car, make it look nice and pretty, and then down the road, boop, rust comes back up, eats a hole in your brand new beautiful paint job, and you can't figure out why. Well, why is because it's still in there, and nothing can get it out but Dr. X. Dr. X will get it out, and you will never have that problem. Knock my little thing over here, my push your pie. There we go, put you down there. There's Bondo right there. The Bondo is not bothered, touched, or hurt in any way, shape, or form. Once it dries, the product will not dry it, and you can just sand right over it and repaint over it. Won't cause it. Then you react with the paint.
the bag, you see where the heavy rust is still up here. So we need, you know, we need to soak this and soak the rest of it again and just repeat process. Eventually, it'll all look like that. Nice and bare, clean metal. That's the best part about it. You can be your own rust remover. Dr. X. If this was, if this was uh, not in the hot sun, we'd be peeling a lot more of the, of the rust off, but it's on the hot side, so it's baking on, so we're going to cool it off with water, then we'll come back and shoot it again in a minute. Put some more product, let it sit on there, and we'll hit all the heavy spots. Get the heavy spots gone, then come back and do the light spots, and then we're done with this car. As you can see, it's taking off layer at a time of the rust because, like I said, it's too hot on this side and it dries up quickly. You notice the other side came off a lot quicker. A lot more came off. And that's because the side's hot. And folks, you yeah, have rusty rims like this too. You can clean these rims and make them look brand new. Shoot a little spray paint on them and they'll look brand spanking new. And also guys, you can see here, this is lead. Look right in here. This is lead that they used to put in the cars. That's how they did the body work back in the day was with lead, not in Bondo. You notice it doesn't affect the lead either. It won't touch anything. Just eats the rust, that's it. So let's keep hitting this roof. Look at that nice thick looking stuff right there. Man, that's some lumpy stuff right there. But look how it's popping it out and lifting it right up off the roof. You need to get the window seals so the glass goes in. Clean all that out, it'll be nice and clean so when you put your new glass in there after you paint and prime it, you have no problem with rust building up in these cracks because water runs down through these things, chews up your metal. All right guys, you just saw us pressure wash all the loose rust that's on her now. Now we're gonna hammer it again now with regular rust remover. Put it on top of the Dr. X, let it sit for another 15 to 20 minutes. Try to keep it so it's wet. If you have to go back and spray it again, do the same thing again and then come back and pressure wash it again. So we're gonna go ahead and spray some on here. And if it's wet, don't worry about it. Even if the metal's all wet from the water, don't worry about it. It'll eat right through it. It'll do what it needs to do. Eat that rust up. We're talking days and days, maybe in a week or two weeks of just grinding and sandpaper and ugh, stuff everywhere. This is so easy, so clean. Environmentally friendly, it's safe, you can put it on your head like that. Yeah, okay. I don't like doing that, because it's not good to have stuff in your hands, but I'm showing you so you know that, you know, I'm not lying. Your fingers aren't gonna fall off. Your fingers not gonna fall off.
This car has probably had rust on it for 20 or 30 years. It's been sitting for a long time. That's why it's really pitted hard. You can even see it right here with the rust. It's coming right off. Some more product and we'll finish spraying. All right guys, now we're gonna bring the pressure washer. This is a little 1400 PSI Home Depot $99 special. You can use these, you can use the big pressure washers, which by the way, the bigger pressure washers are faster if you have, especially if you have a lot of pity rust or heavy rust, it'll blast it off a lot quicker than this. But this is just to show you how to do a car in the low budget way of doing it. And just so now you look at the metal, the flash rust is pretty much gone off here. So we're gonna give it a quick blast and get right up into it. What you want to do is get that final rust off and corrosion off. All that black you see right there in the remaining bit right there, that's actually the remaining rust in the pores. Now we're going to pull it out. So we want to do everything by sections at a time. So you want to do the quarter panel section, then you do the door section next. So we're, you don't want to take on too big of an area. Because then by the time you're done getting to it, you get your flash thrust back and you just have to go over and over and over it again. So just do small section at a time. Put the quarter panel, like I said, put your door, whatever you're doing. So as you notice, all the rest is gone now. And all the paint stuff is still down the bottom. Just clean this out. Make sure no rust left in the car. And now, once you're done doing this, some of this rust remover. And just give it a quick skirt. You can see the reaction on the metal as soon as it hits it. Less rust is dissipating right now. I'm going to spray it on. Okay, you let that sit for a few minutes. Let it drip off. And then once it starts evaporating and drying, you're going to grab the sealer, the neutralizer sealer combo, the Nutri Seal, and you're going to spray it on there. And you're going to soak it and let it sit for, you know, five, six minutes. It'll absorb into the metal, get into the pores. And then we're going to use our little uh, shop back here to dry it. And after we dry it, then we're going to shoot our paint over it. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. What this is going to do is seal up the pores and stop the product from working at the same time and rust from coming back. Sometimes you do it once or twice. At least do it at least once, but sometimes you want to come back over and shoot it again. Like I said, put it on heavy. Alright, so you can let that sit for a few minutes. Let it absorb into the metal. You see any dry spots, just come back and get a little squirt there. Or anything, just blast it on there. What I like to do is let it sit for a little bit and just take a little rag and just wipe it. Just kind of wipe it, spread it around. This speeds up the drying process and also forces it into the pores of the metal.
Now if you choose to not want to put any paint or primer or anything on right now, what you can do is you can leave it like this for the last three to four weeks indoors, okay? Inside. If you're outside like this and it's gonna rain or moisture, then it's gonna rust right back up within the next week or so. Like I said folks, the weed blower is way faster. But we're doing this sec the segment here to show you if you don't have a whole lot to work with, you use what you got and it still works. Now if you look here and here, you'll see the differences between the metals when they've been cleaned and sealed. Nice and pretty. A bunch of flash rust on there, which by the way folks, flash rust comes off very easily, you spray it on. Now we got a nice clean metal to work with. Get a little bit of drying time. If you weed blow it off or use your uh, shot back, give it about 15 minutes or so. Final dry, and then you'll be able to shoot your paint right over top without having any reactions or any fish eyes or any problems with the front whatsoever. Now, when this product is fully dry within 15 or 20 minutes of the sealer, you can sand it with sandpaper, you can do whatever you want with it product because the metal has been sealed so you can actually work with it. You can put your Bondo over it, whatever, and it won't cause any problems or any effect on your material. The only sealer like it in the world. Alright guys, it's been about 10-12 minutes now, the metal is pretty dry. So what we're going to do is a little cheapy can of black primer here. I'm just going to take this and just lightly coat it. You're going to see there won't be any reaction or anything going on here. I know I'm going to tape the car off and so forth, but we're just going to do a spot here for you. This is basically how you do the whole car. Just like that. Paper's going to come in, it's going to dry up here in a few minutes, and then it's going to be done. And what this does is protects your metal and gives it a coating so that way the flash rust or rust won't come back to your nice clean metal. Now, eventually, once this primer dries, you can come back and scotch bright it, scuff it, whatever you need to do to get to the metal and go from there. So, Thanks for your time, everybody. And uh, when we're done with this whole car, it'll all be nice and black and ready to go. So have a great day. Thanks.